Welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm your host, Ostrich Vox. Yesterday, we talked about the fourth Powerpuff Girl tease on Entertainment Weekly and Cartoon Network social media. Well, the first image has surfaced of this character. I said in the video it would only be a matter of time till it was leaked to Cartoon Network's server, but it actually wasn't leaked. One of Cartoon Network's international channels, a promo was running that revealed the new Powerpuff Girls. So for whatever reason you don't want to see her, click off now. Ready, set, go. Oh, 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 yeah, I got some problems with this design. There are some pros and some cons, and in my opinion, the cons kind of outweigh the pro, but since we have no context, no concept of her origin, I want to withhold judgment, but they're kind of making it hard. So the first thing you may notice, or definitely notice, is that this Powerpuff Girl is black, or at least has a seemingly African-American complexion. We have no idea how this Powerpuff Girl was made. She could have been created through sugar, spice, and everything nice, with a hint of Chemical X, just like Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup. The issue is, the Powerpuff Girls are genetically engineered. A freak accident, yes, but genetically engineered nonetheless. So how did this one come out darker than the others? At the same time, Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup have different hair colors. So we can't say there are definitive rules how to create a Powerpuff Girl, but still, that's kind of bizarre. And why is her hair blue? And while I'm glad people of color have a Powerpuff Girl to their own, and representation is important, this seems like another cold attempt at pandering from this new reboot. Why is it a failed attempt? Well, blue hair aside, why is her head bigger than the others? And why are her hips bigger than the others? Really, she's a kid. How are you going to be progressive and stereotypical at the same time? Again, I know we lack context, but that looks pretty bad. So yeah, I actually hope this one explodes. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Again, we haven't seen the episode yet. There's no context. Or is there? My buddy, the Rise and Fall of Nickelodeon, check out their Facebook page and YouTube, links in the description, was informed of one of his fans that this episode actually already aired in Africa. Whether it was intentional or a mistake is unclear at the moment, but it's still aired. Now, we don't have any footage, so take this off with a grain of salt, but we do have more information about it. So one, this new Powerpuff Girl's name is Bliss. In her origin, was it another free actor from Chemical X? Was it a villain's doing? Well, apparently, it was an imaginary friend type deal? Wait, what? Yeah, allegedly that's where the screen cap comes from. Now, the person in question who saw this episode, he wasn't the one who wrote the screen cap, and he says he doesn't remember too much from the episode, but the Powerpuff Girl's name is Bliss. And the premise of the first episode she debuts in, the exact quote is, Well, Bubbles kept talking to someone and everyone thought she had an imaginary friend, but she insisted Bliss was real. At the end of the episode, it does turn out that Bliss was real. Professor Utonium saw her and was in shock and said something like, I'm sorry, while she called him dad. I wasn't really paying attention to this episode. Overall, I'm just dumbfounded. So not only do you have this brand new Powerpuff Girl of an ambiguous people of color complexion, again, not a bad thing, but with lack of context comes across as pandering, Poorly done at that, because again, those hips don't lie, but you want to do the imaginary friend trope. Was she made by a villain? Is she really just an imaginary friend come to life? Why is she calling Professor Father? There's so many questions! Again, I'm all for representation of cartoons. I'm all for a black Powerpuff Girl, but have it make sense. Please, don't do something for the sake of doing it. If there's no weight to it, then it loses its sense of importance. But, as always, these are just my thoughts, and I definitely want to hear yours. Let's get a discussion going in the comment section below. Assuming this description of the episode is real, how do you feel about Bliss? Oh my god, her name is Bliss. That doesn't even match with their naming scheme. Blossom, Bubbles, Buttercup, Hell, Bunny. Bliss doesn't fit. Do you actually like this design? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section below. And if you want to get the conversation going beyond the comments, tweet to us at RoundtableVids, or at me at OstrichVox. And you can follow our other social media and the rest of our crew while you're at it. Links in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please do a like. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Follow us on social media. Links to everything in the description down below. Ostrick Vox, signing out. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved for our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.